Welcome to my Bar Lattes Body Blitz Quick Fix Total Body Weight Workout. For today's workout, all you will need is a mat if you're working out on hard floor. Okay, let's get started with some yoga poses for a warm up. Coming to the end of your mat, I want you to take a deep breath in and then swan dive forward. Coming down as far as you feel comfortable, then halfway up, nice flat back and back down and walking your way forward into a plank position. Making sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders, nice alignment in your neck, coming down into a tricep pusher, and then pushing forward into an upward dog. Stretching out through those abs, curling your toes back under, and back into a down dog. Adjusting to your feet so they're a nice wide stance, and pushing into your arms, trying to Get your head in between your straight arms. Bending into it, I want you to shoot back forward into a plank. So it's bending back, sending your hips to the back and shooting forward. All the way back and straight. Make sure you're looking down at the mat so your neck is in nice alignment with your spine and you're always coming back to that perfect plank position. Just two more of these all the way back and straight. And last one and straight. Now holding this plank position, if you can't support your weight like this yet, you can come down onto your knees. But if you can, make sure you're in a comfortable stance, stay in that plank and raise one leg. I want you to point and flex. Tiny raises through your glutes, point and flex. Really trying to keep your weight balanced in between those arms, hip bones facing the mat. It's point and flex, point and flex. Pushing out between your shoulder blades so you're not slouching through the shoulders. Four and up, three, up, two, up, last one, up, coming back down, readjusting, pushing back out, see how I'm pushing my back up to the ceiling, nice flat body, other leg up and point and flex, mini raises each time you point and flex, feeling your glutes, tightening through the quads of that other supporting leg, as I said if this is too tough come down on your knee like this and it will still be an effective exercise. And then when you're ready, come back up to join us. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Now everyone down, coming back into child's pose for a second, stretching out those arms, coming back forward. Once again, either a proper plank or on your knees, whichever you prefer, coming back up, Nice alignment, leg up and little arcs in and out. So you're just tapping to the outside of your mat, in and out. Really nice and tall through the shoulders. This is hard, so if you need to come down anytime, please do so. And out, and out. Four, three, two, and one, coming back down, child's pose again, just stretching out, and we're going to the other side. So coming back up, into that nice tall plank, back straight, leg up, and arc out, and in. So you're just tapping past your mat, lifting your glute as you do that arc. So up and down, up and down, pushing through your shoulders, Dividing your shoulder blades, so don't hunch for four, and in, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Coming back, back into that nice child's pose. Really stretch and push your armpits down to the mat, stretching out those shoulders. Now coming back forward, everyone on their knees, and your hands coming in that little bit closer, Still wrist underneath your shoulders. You can have your feet up like this or down. And we're doing mini tricep push-ups. 
So keep your back really flat, your tummy pulled in, and just tiny up and down. So you're not going full range, but make sure that you shift your weight forward enough that your wrists are just underneath the shoulders on the up, and then they come slightly forward. So you're moving up and down over those hands. Feeling it in the triceps, keeping your triceps pinned against your rib cage. Looking straight ahead, just tiny mini movement. If you can't even come down as far as this, keep it up here. See how I'm just micro bending? Even that will load your tricep because you've got all of your upper body weight in there. Four, three, two, one. Tiny child's pose again. Now coming forward and bringing your hands quite close together, we're going to bring our whole chest in between our hands. So nice tall stance, neck nice and long, everything down and everything up. So adjust yourself so you've got the right positioning here and everything up. So all the way down, almost like you're dropping down from the mat and then pushing yourself back up. You can even let your whole body rest on the mat for a second and push up. Make sure your elbows are in to your rib cage. Don't let them flare out and up. All the way down, touch your nose to the mat and push back up. This movement is also using your bicep muscle, not just your triceps and up. All the way down and up. Just two more down and push your whole body back up to straight. And last one, and push up. Child's pose to stretch out those arms. So that was a good indication of what this workout is gonna be like if that was a warm up. Coming into a side stand so that your back is lined up with the back of the mat and bring your legs to the front corner of the mat. Make sure you're nice and tall through your neck and your shoulder is not slouching down like this, but is really nice and tall. The other hand can be either on your waist or in front for support. And we're just going to point up, flex down. Point and flex. Point and flex. So your knee is kind of facing the ceiling rather than facing in front of you. Up and down. You're thinking about stretching your leg long. So it's not just a strengthening exercise, but also lengthening. As you come down, you're resisting through the air. It's like you're pushing your leg through thick mud. Push down. Engage your inner thighs. Point and down. Point and down. The other leg on the ground is engaged as well. You're squeezing every muscle in that leg to hold you in a really nice, stable condition there. Point through that toe on the supporting on the bottom leg, up and down. Squeezing your quads for three and down, two and down, one and down. Coming back up with your toe pointed, we're going to arc to the front, up and to the back. Now this time your knee's pointing towards the front. So it's an arc up, down, up, down. All the way forward, all the way back. Trying to keep your body nice and tall, holding in your tummy, keep your hips stacked. Don't allow yourself to roll backwards here. If you're finding this uncomfortable, you can come all the way down, lying down with your head in your hands. That's another option. All the way up, tap, up, tap. Nice and high, really engaging those outer thighs on the up. For four, and three, and two, and one. Now bringing your toes back together, we're gonna draw up our leg, straighten and down, all with a pointed toe. Straighten and straight leg down. Drawing all the way up. So once again, your knee is facing the ceiling here. Keep your toe pointed all the way. Squeezing through that quad on the up. So as you extend that leg, squeeze through the front of your thigh and don't let go of that contraction the entire time. 
all the way in and up and straight. For four, up, three, lengthening, two, and one. Now coming down, we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to bring a straight leg up, come down, then flex your foot and push away. Point up, down, and flex and push. Point and flex. Don't worry if you get the feet wrong. I know it's a bit of a tongue twister for the legs. And flex. If you want to, you can keep your foot flexed like this the whole time. That's okay as well, just as long as you're pushing away at the bottom. But if you can point to this point and then flex. Point, flex. You're pushing a heavy cement block away. Point, flex. Really squeezing all through that leg. Just three more of these. One, two, push away, and three. Now turning both your knees forward again, making sure you're really comfortable in your upper body. Arm overhead and squeeze your arm towards that extended leg. So your knees pointing to the front of the room, your arms just soft, and you are squeezing through the waist every time that elbow touches the thigh. Try to make it touch and touch. You're squeezing. That bottom leg is still nice and tensed, supporting you, keeping you in a nice upright position. Squeezing through the outer hip, that muffin top area. Squeeze, extended leg. You should feel this in the outer thigh as well. And squeeze, and squeeze. For five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Great job, we're moving to the other side. So once again, lining up the back of the mat with your back, shoulder is underneath, oh, sorry, on top of your elbow. Legs are in front, nice and straight. Making sure your posture is perfect, your hips, are stacked on top of each other and your arm is in front for support. Flex your legs. First thing, really straighten through the legs. If your toes cramp, make a Barbie foot rather than pointing your toe. So point through the foot but not through the toes if that makes sense. And now we're going to point up, flex down. So your knee is coming up towards the ceiling. You point up, flex down. Your leg is tight the entire time. There's never a point where your leg is not flexed. So you are thinking about a piece of wood behind your knee holding your leg perfectly straight. So you're really flexing out, straightening out, stretching out behind that knee. Up and flex down. Point up, flex down. Try to keep your hips stacked. It's tempting to roll towards the back, but it won't hit the same muscle group. So really try to keep your body nice and still. Up and down, up and down. Flex through the bottom leg as well. Keep everything tight. Up and pushing down through thick mud. Up and down for four and three and two, and one. Now pointing through those toes and we're gonna draw that arc. This time your knee is facing towards the front of the room and you're leading with that outer thigh. So it's down up, down up, down up, down up. Hips are stacked, shoulders are nice and tall. Don't slouch in your shoulders. And you're still pointing that toe and you're extending your leg long. You're stretching your leg long, as long as it can possibly go. Up as high as you can. Up, really squeeze. Just in here in that outer thigh, in that dancer's dent area, that's where we're working. And up and out. Up, 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 up. For four, and three, and two, and one. Great job. Keep your toes pointed. Now we're going to draw up that leg, extend, and down. So this whole first set is with your leg, with your foot pointed. 
in up and down squeeze up and down try to get your leg as straight as you can on the extension try to get it as high as you can it all depends on your flexibility if you can't get it as straight yet then please keep doing the stretches and make sure that you challenge yourself when your body is warm start stretching out your hamstrings because that's what's preventing you from straightening that leg tight hamstrings so you should be able to get your leg a little bit higher every time you do this workout as long as you lengthen out and stretch after your weight training very important or after you're running four straighten down three straighten down two and last one so if your foot is cramping you can always flex okay now we're going to do the opposite so we're coming up with a pointed toe down and flex as you push away pointed point flex and push point point flex and push your knee is still facing up to the ceiling here your other toe is still pointed so it's point point push keep your hips steady here don't allow your body to rock around too much try not to slouch in your shoulders keep your tummy pulled in all these form po pointers will help you get the best results really straight and push imagining that heavy cement block that you're pushing away for four and push for three and push for two and push and last one and push now making sure your stance is nice and tall arm overhead and we're going to do those side crunches so your arm is nice and bent and you're coming down to meet that thigh try to keep your knee pointing to the front of the room leading with the outer thigh bottom leg is still really stable into the ground anchoring you and you're squeezing through your side squeezing through your obliques and your outer hips try to move into it really crunching your side body crunch your leg should be feeling this as well keep it tight keep it straight point that toe away nice long legs and back and back for five and four and three and two and one great job okay moving on to some triceps now coming into a seated position make sure that as you slide your body back like this your fingertips are facing your hips and your shoulders are nice and tall and rolled back now bring your feet in and raise up your hips making sure your knees are above your ankles looking up at the ceiling I want you to micro bend your triceps so look this is straight micro bend okay so you can feel some tension on the triceps now we're going to extend extend in in extend extend in in trying to get your hips high on the in so extend long point in high hips extend and in try to keep that bend in your triceps I know it's tough but that's what you need to do to form that nice shape at the back of your arms nice toned jiggle free arms we're going to go for three more sets extend extend in in extend extend in in coming down for a second just bending forward releasing through the arms we're coming back into that same position fingertips facing front shoulders up and back coming back up hips high extend one leg eight on each side tricep dips okay one two three four five six seven eight changing legs readjust leg nice and high just eight eight seven six five four three two one great job sitting down arms forward stretching switching your arms like this 
Now coming back one last time, we're going to keep our arms straight this time. So nice and tall through your body. If your chest is facing the ceiling, you're looking slightly up. We're going to come back up with our hips high. Your arms are straight. Readjust so you're comfortable. Leg out, and we're going to do a bicycle. In towards the chest and push out. Up, in, push. Up, in, push. Keeping your leg flexed. Keeping your arms loaded. If this is too hard, you can sit down on your butt. But try, we're trying to really load those triceps. One last time, up, in, push. For four, and push. For three, and push. Two, push, one, push. We're gonna go the other way. Straight leg up, in, bend, push away. Straight leg, in, push. Up, in, push. Up, in, push. Try to stay high through the hips. Try to hold your tummy in. Gonna have a short break after this side and then do the other side and that's it for your triceps. For four, for three, for two, for one. Coming down, sitting forward. Arms just crossing like this, stretching through your shoulders. Loosening everything up. Back into that same position. Hands behind you. You can actually put your hands out like this as well if it's more comfortable. You might want to alternate between the two hand stances. Coming back up, arms are straight. Your front leg is anchored this time. Stretch the other leg out. It's in, up, out. In, up, out. Okay, so you're coming in first, straightening down. Keep your hips high. Try to really squeeze through the front of that supporting leg. Keep your arms high, looking straight ahead so you're not craning your neck at me. Down, up, in, up, down, in, up, down. All the way in, straightening high. Into the chest and down. In, up, down. For four, up, down. And three, up, down. And two, up, down. And one, up, down. Other way, straight leg up and push away. Straight leg up, push. Really feeling it in my hamstring or my supporting leg. Up and push. Up and push. Keep your toe pointed. Keep your arms nice and straight. Don't hunch in your shoulders. Keep your tummy in. Trying to press up through those hips. I know that butt's getting closer and closer to the ground. Last exercise for triceps for four, and three, and two, and one. Awesome job, sitting down and just coming forward, really trying to stretch out through those shoulders and just moving your arms around, back and forth, like this. Rolling them a few times and that's it for triceps. Okay, now coming into a seated position with one leg extended and the other leg in. We're going to lean back on our hands just slightly, okay? So you're just in a comfortable upright position. Make sure you're not rounding through the back. It's really nice and straight. Your tummy's in and you're leaning back slightly. We're going to be working the extended leg. Kneecap is facing the ceiling. Raises. Little raises. You're using your quad and your hip flexor to raise that leg up. Keeping really nice and still through the upper body. Just squeezing. These add up really quickly. The front of your leg there should be burning, trying to lift up and up and up. Not many, because I know these are really hard. Lift up as high as you can. If this stance is too open for you, you can bring your leg slightly more to the front. But if you can, keep it to the side because you'll be getting more inner thigh in the next exercise. Three, two, one. Now turn your knee to the back so your inner thigh is facing up and bend your leg and ups. 
and up. So if you want to flex your foot here, you can. You don't have to have it pointed all the time. The main point is, is that you're using your inner thigh to lift your leg up as high as you can. And up. And up. Try not to rest all your weight on the foot as you drop down. Really try to just tap lightly and the main emphasis is the up. Don't slouch through your shoulders. Nice and tall chest for four. And three. And two. And one. Extending that leg again. Now we're going to work this leg. So adjust yourself nice and upright. We're going to go extend, tap down in. Extend, tap down in. You're not actually letting that leg rest on the in. Okay, so your inner thigh is out. Extend, tap and in. Extend, tap and in. Okay, so really important to flex through that leg on the out, really stretch out. If your foot is um, cramping from pointing, then flex your foot or make a Barbie foot, however you prefer. Point or flex doesn't really matter. You will feel the difference though in which muscle groups you're working. These are really hard, just four more. You can do it, one, two, three, four. Oh, that was hard. Now coming nice and upright, we're going to put our hands in front like this. We're gonna twist our foot up, or our leg up towards the opposite elbow. So see how I'm just rotating on my foot and I'm twisting towards the back, trying to get my elbow over that knee and over. Nice tall back here, don't slouch. Keep your posture really nice and upright. That other leg is still anchored into the ground. Don't let it just flop there. And over. And squeeze. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job. Moving to the other side. So this leg's in this time and the other leg's out. Depending on your flexibility, if this really is uncomfortable to sit like this, you can keep your leg up like this. But if you can, try to challenge yourself and get your leg into that position because it will open up your inner thighs. Resting behind, kneecap facing the ceiling, starting off with those raises. Tummy's pulled in, it'll help you. And up, pointing through that toe, and up. Nice long leg, really locking out behind the knee. That will give you a nice straight line. And up. Squeeze your tummy in as you lift that leg, it will help you. And squeeze. And squeeze. Really try to lightly tap that leg down. Don't just let it drop. So it's a up and slowly down. Up and down. For five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Now, bending your leg slightly, an outer thigh facing the ceiling, nice tall chest, and up. So, mini ups, leading with your inner thigh. And up. Really try to move that leg as one unit. Everything up. Everything up and light tap. Everything up. My leg is shaking. This is really getting into that hip flexor area. Up. Remember, if your foot's cramping, just flex or point the foot, but not the toe. So it's like a Barbie foot. And up. And up. Shaking. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Oh. Extend that leg, working this other leg. Nice tall posture. Chest upright. Arms back. Out, down and in. Out, down and in. So you're just lightly tapping that little tiny baby toe on the mat, on the in. Don't rest your leg. There's not many of these and this is the last leg exercise. Then we've just got those abs and that is it. So think about it, home stretch, total body workout 
Ah, oh, flex your foot if you want to. Out and in. Out and in. Really sore, but you can do it. Just hold that leg up a little bit more. Think of the results. For four. And three. And two. And one. Oh my goodness. That definitely wouldn't have looked glamorous. <laughs> I was barely trying to lift that leg up. Arms in front, rotating. Rotating over that knee towards the back. The further you move towards the back, the more you're gonna twist through that waist and the more you'll feel it. Crunching, crunching. Bringing that leg up engages your low abs as well. Squeezing, but it's mainly for that oblique area. Down the side of the waistline, whittling away the waist. Across, across, squeeze, squeeze. That other leg is still tensed. Keep working it even if it's not moving. Just go for five and four and three and two. Last one. Great job. That wasn't easy. Coming into a pretzel or Z position. I want you to pick up that back leg and just pull your heel in towards your glutes, stretching out through the front of your thigh. Nice quad stretch, definitely work those quads. Feel it all lengthening out. So important to lengthen your muscles after they've been contracted this entire workout. All the way in, then leg to the side, arm over. We work those obliques, so stretching out through the side body. Nice and long. And then chest to the leg and flex your foot, pulling back on the toe. That will get your hamstring. Come down as far as you're comfortable. Then bringing that leg across and sitting cross-legged. Nice and tall. Leaning forward and away from the leg that's on top. Feeling it in the glute. Stretching out those glutes, come down as far as you're comfortable. Then just stretching out both legs and coming down in front in a thigh stretch. So once again, just come down as low as you feel comfortable. If you're up here, but keep challenging yourself. Flexibility takes time and takes work. So you need to work at it just like building your muscles. You need to work at stretching them. And then the other leg on top, sitting cross-legged and leaning away from the leg that's on top. Stretching out through the glute all the way down here. Come down and hold that. And stretching that leg out, arm overhead, stretching through the side body. Really trying to lengthen that out. Then chest over that leg, flex your foot and pull back. Stretching out that hamstring. And leg behind in that pretzel position, heel to the glutes. I really feel this one in the front of the thigh. Pushing your foot into your hand will increase the stretch in the front of your quad. And then just coming into a child's pose, armpits down towards the mat, pushing down. And then arms, palms up, you might want to separate your knees slightly and push down, stretching your triceps. And one arm underneath and just letting the weight of your body stretch down over that shoulder. And then switching sides, carefully positioning your arm underneath and then dropping down on top of it. And finally, sitting cross-legged, arms in front and push away, stretching out through your shoulder blades. Those shoulders held us in those planks. 
for quite a while in the tricep dip positions. So they need a good stretch. And there you have it, quick fix, total body weight workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to working out with you again very soon.